Yo, what is up guys? This is Beast44 Gaming bringing you another episode of MLB The Show 21 Diamond Dynasty here on the channel. Today we have some team updates for the God Squad and the debut of our technically our first debut of a super fractal parallel card i'll explain that in a second first of all right off the bat we have jim tomey in for albert pujols albert pujols is no longer on the squad he doesn't even make the bench uh we have jim tomey already up to parallel one uh ricky henderson he was in the last video i remember so that part i know and mike piazza is up to parallel four mike shroud is up to parallel two ernie banks is parallel three uh, no new additions to the bench now the pitching is where we have a lot of changes because we've been doing a lot of grinding for team affinities and other stuff so first of all yes Corbin Burns is parallel 5 the super factor parallel we are going to debut him today for the squad we also unlocked three right these are the top three that I put in the squad for pitching Garrett Crochet the 94 overall starting pitcher 102 K per 9, 97 hits per 9, 99 velo and break. We also have Quinn Priester, I believe that's pronounced correctly. I'd actually never heard of this guy before, but he actually has some pretty good stats, plus a good pitch mix too. And the probably the fan favorite in the MLB The Show community, Ed, I was going to call him Eduardo, Edward Cabrera, 101 hits per 9, 97 K per 9. I'm curious to see how his pitch mix works. I believe he just has it, in, he has the same pitches, but in a different order with uh, Quinn Priester, but 99 velocity, 94 break, and uh, I've been using him in uh, conquest games a little bit, so that's why he's close to parallel one. I'm curious to see how he goes. We are going to move Quinn Priester there. We're gonna put Frank Tanana there to get him some energy back. We also added Darren O'Day's prime card to the bullpen. He is from the kitchen sink one pack that dropped. I already opened two of those packs, got the base round both times, so nothing really exciting there. But we added him to the squad. And is there anything else I have to update? I mean, I guess just for the sake of updating, my Rivera collection is up to 10 out of 14 vouchers. I still need, I know I'm not getting Jackie, so I'm just eliminating him as a possibility. I still need Milestone, Prime, Signature, and Awards. I am one Prime card away from getting this one, so I'm practically at 11. But uh, Awards cards, Signature, and Milestone, those need a lot of work. So that's what a lot of this grinding is going to be. Plus, you know, any any other stuff that comes out but they did today i know i'm calling into like a lot of different tangents but they did today the day of this recording at least uh release the third inning boss pack i don't know why the the card art isn't loading but grady sizemore is a uh, milestone card dennis eckersley is was that a signature series i forget i believe that was a signature series i could be mistaken though that might just be postseason i don't honestly remember but then troy gloss I believe I've never heard of this guy before, so I apologize. I, I don't know if this is just me being young, but I don't know. I believe this was an awards card, if I'm remembering correctly. Again, the, the no card art doesn't really help. But uh, yeah, so those dropped today. Uh, I'm working on the Pizza Conquest. That'll give us 25,000 XP. I'm already at uh, 26.5K, so we have a few things going. I have some packs saved up from Team Affinity Grinds and stuff like that. Uh, so we can do a pack opening. I'm probably gonna record that after this or maybe after I do a bit more grinding But for now we are going to the rank season squad 23 and 0 733 on the rating we have until June 14th to get into World Series Let's see if we can put on a show today and while I get my headphones on this is gonna be my Opportunity to remind you guys to make sure you like comment and subscribe to the channel turn on your post notifications So, you know when and what I am posting this gameplay is probably gonna be really really fun to do I've been doing a lot of Hall of Fame uh, Conquests, so I've been trying to not do it on too low of difficulty So then once I do play on ranked seasons, I don't get out of whack. Here we go Corbin Burns in his first game Watch me face another like Super Fractor Corbin Burns card. I was the 3,999th person to unlock his Super Fractor Parallel card. So that means there are 3,998 people out there with that card that we could be facing and ranked right now. I'm waiting for this guy. There we go. Ricky Henderson. Jim Tomey takes over the fourth spot. Mike Trout in five. Ernie Banks in six. Yada, yada, yada. We're just waiting for this guy to load in. I'm really excited for this gameplay. I'm really excited to see. This is also technically the Jim Tomey debut too. So uh, let's let's see who we are. Are we the home team or the away team? We are the home team. We are facing the 96 Roy Oswalt, Parallel 3, uh, Roberto Alomar, Byron Buxton. He has Kyle Lewis to Parallel 4, also Ryan McMahon, and he has Jason Bay to Parallel 2. This guy, this guy, 
he has an underrated squad, don't get me wrong. A lot of these cards are my personal favorites, but they are not by any means terrible. After two terrible pitches, what is up with that? That cost me in Conquest too. Is that a glitch with the game? I try running in the outfield and they'll just start walking. Like it's nothing wrong with my controller, but that happened to Byron Buxton in a Conquest game too. And that's honestly starting to scare me. He was late on that, so we're gonna go inside and kind of hip high with the sinker. We get him! Corn Burns' his first strikeout as a super fact apparel. Nico Goodrum. I have not seen this card that much, but uh, I don't know. I feel like he could go off if he wants to. There we go. Come on, man. All right. So we do give up the base hit to Nico Goodrum. Who is this four hole hitter? Is that Vladdy? No, it was Kyle Lewis. He must really like this card to still have it in his lineup. I don't know what's going on there. There we go. Corbin Burns with two strikeouts in his first inning as a Super Fractor starter. Now let's go put some bat to the ball. I have not faced this Roy Oswald yet, so I don't know his pitch mix. And, oh, that's not going to be a base hit, is it? That's 99 speed. But no. We don't get the break there, so we ground out with Ricky Henderson. We got Fernando Tatis. I am the... He is my next closest parallel four card to getting to Super Fractor. We just got to make sure we don't swing at too many pitches that aren't good or at least close enough. And we ground out on the changeup. Good pitch mix. I got to get used to seeing this Roy Oswald card. I have not seen that whatsoever. We only get 65 XP for that inning. Inside, inside cutter just catching the black. Let's go, man. Three Ks. Let's get out of this inning. Double play would be nice. Let's go. We got him with the slider. Four Ks for the first two innings. We still have to get the bats going, though. This is where Jim Tomey comes in. What's his first hit on the ranked season squad going to be? Okay, that's not a bomb, but that's going to be... Are we going to try and stretch it? We're stretching that to a double. Screw it. Lead off double for Jim Tomey. His first hit on the squad. Let's go. Michael Gary Trout. Line drive in the gap. RBI double. You ain't getting me, Buxton. You ain't getting me. Come on. Two straight hits. Let's keep it going. Dude, that 12-6... Regardless of the outcome of this game, you have to admit that, and I'm just an idiot, but that 12-6 is nasty. Yeah, see, Roberto Alomar shouldn't be hitting stuff that far. Come on, Mike. Thank you. He's, I, I know I keep referencing Conquest games, but he dropped an easy fly ball in a Conquest game, and that really pissed me off. Bro, I guarantee you he thought that was a sinker. Bro, throw the ball, Trout! What are you doing? Why are you taking your sweet ass time? Let's go, man. Let's go, Burns. Keep the shutout going. Keep it going. Oh yeah, there you go. You, there's a taste of your own medicine. Dude, give me the check. What was that? There you go, Eddie. That's what we needed. We needed another base hit to get us back in this game. That's gonna be another double. Another double. We have three in the game. Come on, Mike. And right when I do get my PCI on it, I think he threw the exact same pitch in the exact same place, and I just missed it. There you go. That's 99 speed. Come on, man. Why are you taking your time to get out of the box? Oh, my God, man. Bucks it. Stop. What is that animation? What was that? Why does he stop running? What is that animation? That cannot be happening. He went. He so went. Thank you. Oh, you're kidding. That's how the first run of his game goes. All right. I mean, we have. I mean, if we needed more of a prod up our butt to get the bats going, that is it. He tried with that sinker, but I saw right through it. Come on, we got a base runner. You have to pitch to me again. You have to pitch to me again. Oh, that one got past him. That eliminates the double play. I'll take it. 3-2 count. Come on. A base hit scores Tatis. Jim told me. Jim told me get over his head. That's over his head. Why is he running the other direction? Come on, get down. Get down, Tatis! Let's go, Jim told me. An RBI double. What is up with the doubles in this game? Oh, we froze him! Great placement by Corbin Burns. He went. Thank you! Great way to end your day, man. Seven innings. Gave up a few... Uh, seven hits. But he only allowed one run. 
You're done! 3-2 fastball. We get our PCI on it. 3-1 ball game. That's at least some insurance runs. Let's get back to back. I want to see that Ricky Henderson. I'm going to go ahead and bring in Jose LeClerc in hopes that Lee Smith has a save opportunity for the ninth. LeClerc has a good K and hits per nine. So I'm hoping that he doesn't catch on to him too much. Got him with the two seam. Let's go. Yeah, I'll admit that was probably a bad place to leave it. All right, so he gets that run back. We got him. Let's go. Despite the home run, we still get out of it with the lead. We got to get we gotta get up and hit some more. We got to get some more insurance runs for Lee Smith. I don't like a one-run lead. Oh, you're kidding. And he has 30 speed. He's not being it out. That was a three-pitch inning. We... We had, we had opportunities to, to go yard that inning. Come on, no. We're, bring, we're bringing in Lee Smith. Come on, Eddie. You gotta get there. You got it. Why does he keep doing that? Why does he keep doing that? Ricky, throw the ball. Why does he keep doing that animation? That's twice this game. Let's go. That should be out number three, and we should be out of this game, but... Shohei. Why is why Shohei? Why Shohei of all players? Let's go, man! We remain undefeated. I know I say that every video, but it's key that I say that. That game... That game was closer than it needed to be, man. That game was way closer than it needed to be. I gotta get my PCI back in the ball. We shook out 13 people. With Corbin Burns' Super Fractor card. Yeah, he's the player of the game there. We, we got out hit, but we outperformed. We might have actually... I was going to say we might have gotten lucky, but dude, with those two animations with the fielding, that's got to stop. Let me know down in the comment section if you guys are having that same problem. Because that almost cost me the game right there. We're up to 758. We got Lee Smith to parallel one. That's good. And we got a ton of unlockables. Jesus Christ, what did I do? Corbin Burns is Super Fractor Parallel card. Debut, strikes out 13. Jim Tomey, in his debut as well, goes two for three. No, two for four, but he had two amazing doubles. And I just, I just gotta start getting my PCI back on the ball. But thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video, despite my constant rage about the fielding animations, which those need to get fixed. Because it's not even a matter of, like, fielding ability. Because that happened to Eddie Matthews, who's a silver. But it also happened to Byron Buxton, who I believe has 99 fielding. So if that was a matter of fielding, that should not be an issue with Byron Buxton. But it happened to Byron, so that's why I'm upset. But thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Share this video with your friends and family. And turn on post notifications so you know when what I am posting. We are on the road to 200 subscribers. I know that sounds stupid, especially if I look on this in retrospect. But it's because, you know, we're, we're, we're slowly gaining subscribers. We're slowly on the way there. We are at 186 at the time of this recording. And with your guys' help, we can get to 200 and much, much more. We can get to 1K, 10K, 100K, 50K, whatever you guys want. Just make sure you guys let people know what's going on with the channel. Thank you guys so much for watching. And this is Beast Ray 4 Gaming, signing out.